Hi, welcome to the card of the day and today I've selected Wedding Bush and that's number nine and it's in the fire section of the Australian Wildflower Oracle. This little flower, and it really is a tiny, tiny little flower, is found all up and down the eastern seaboard of Australia. So right up past Brisbane into Queensland, a little bit along the border of Queensland and New South Wales, right down the New South Wales border, down Victoria and down to Tasmania as well, across the sea doesn't grow in the sea of course so down to uh, Tasmania as well now in my artwork it looks really big doesn't it but it actually is a tiny tiny little flower and it has beautiful green spiky foliage as well on each uh, plant there are male and female uh, flowers so that very much again aligns with the energy of commitment which is what this plant is very much about this flower and this energy and the essences that come from it as well so in an oracle reading what are we looking at well we are looking at commitment to things so that's your number one key word but commit with commitment comes obviously dedication resolve and also the stickability to things making plans uh, sticking to them not falling off the wagon all those sorts of energies so it's about yourself so if it comes up in a general reading you'll be looking at well, what was the question I was asking what are the cards around obviously but this card would be looking at those connections with yourself and with other people to how everybody is interrelating so whether it's a commitment to um, a concept a project uh, a work um, sort of thing that's going on at the moment relate interpersonal 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 relationships and also obviously in family things and it does come down to romantic connections naturally you need to be looking at well what can I do to um, be better committed to stick to the course do I want to be committed to that this is the other thing as well in a career reading I find that it does come up a lot when people are sort of they're working at something and they're not quite sure if they've taken the right path wedding bush coming up would would very much say yes this is a good match as well that's the sort of energy around that okay so now we're getting to a relationship reading and yeah it does come up a lot it is the da -da, wedding card, but it's also deeper connections and commitments within relationships that might not necessarily mean ring on the finger time. So it's things like um, being committed to each other, realizing what the other person needs, focusing in on those things. As far as on the sort of challenging side, perhaps someone isn't as committed as the other person would like them to be, or perhaps they're just not showing that they're committed. So the commitment could be there, um, and I'll be looking at the other cards around with this, but the commitment could be there, but they're just not showing it, that's all. So it could be an indication of that. As far as healing's concerned, as an essence, wedding bush uh, energy is fantastic around the time of weddings, obviously, because it gets you to focus in on what you're doing. Now, I'm not talking about getting rid of doubts that are real and things that need to be looked at, but you know the old-fashioned cold feet, last-minute jitters, mm, I don't know, <laughs> maybe the boy from high school is still waiting for me, those kind of things, it sort of focuses it. Is it focuses your attention, your emotions back in and it just lets those, those niggly things fall away. So you get really, really focused to what's going on in the here and now. So fantastic wedding sort of period time uh, essence to take. It's really good for people who are training and I mean if you're training for the Olympics or if you're training just to get yourself a little bit fitter, really good because it helps with that stickability, with commitments, goal setting and staying the course and getting your discipline on track. Great for times of plateau. I'd say if you're starting to you know, cheat on the diet or you're starting to sort of slacken off and not doing probably your PBs all the time, really good to get your refocus as well. I'd only probably take it for maybe three to five days just to get yourself back on track, so get you refocused. I have mentioned it's really good for life purposes and uh, it, it is. It's really a great essence to take or a, an image to meditate on as well when you're looking for your life purpose because this is all about really long-term commitment. So it can help focus. So you're not scattered from this to this to this. You really are looking at what it is that your life purpose is and, and how to commit to it as well. So it can be a good... Um, mind opener and an emotional opener to the things that you need to do personally to commit to a life purpose and a life purpose plan as well. I would love, love, love to hear any of your insights and any of your work that you've done 
with wedding bush um, that would be fantastic any potions and any just any enlightenments or experiences at all so drop me a line um, say hello on Facebook I'd love to hear about it so have a blessed time learning a bit more about wedding bush